Lieutenant Ash on Terran Patrol, Wing Gamma, 3-9er, reporting, taking heavy damage, requesting immediate fighter cover and rescue. Come in, anybody! Mayday! Requesting immediate assistance! Anyone, please! Barely receiving you, Gamma 3-9er. This is Terran Outpost Riviera responding. What is your situation? Oh, thank God! Our wing was ambushed! We didn't have a chance! I'm sure they're tracking me! Calm down, sir. Who attacked you? Was it the Vasudans? The Vasudans were killed, too. They slaughtered everyone! Sir, you have to calm down. You were attacked by Vasudans. Is that true? No, no! We were in a skirmish with a Vasudan patrol, and they just came out of nowhere and killed everyone! Who came out of nowhere, pilot? I, I don't know. They weren't Vasudans, and they weren't Terran. Oh, God. They're these death black ships, and they feel like... Pilot! And their weapons pilot. were too much. They wasted everyone! Pilot, sit tight. We're sending recovery craft right now. Send fighters! I, I know they're following me. Send everything you have now! Sir, I don't have anyone else on the scope. We're all free. It's going to be all right. No, it isn't! You don't understand! You weren't there! I can feel them following me. Oh my gosh! I'm dead! We're all dead! Picking up unknown jump signatures. I need to scramble the fighters! It's too late! Oh god! What the hell is that? Now that's one hell of an intro, isn't it? Hey, Helium here. Welcome to my new Let's Play series of Free Space, or I should say, Descent Free Space. Um, r just a few things before we get started. Um, I'm running Free Space 2, I've got a legitimate copy, and I've installed the Free Space 2 open installer on it so to bring it up to date with HD graphics and everything and I am running the free space port um, as you can see at the bottom here free space to open version 3.7.4 point a whole lot of digits open GL that's the um, uh, thing it uses and it's running uh, f the original free space in the free space to engine right um, for those of you who don't know, you already got a fair clue from the introduction. Um, this is a space sim. This is the very best space sim ever made, in my opinion. And it was on the height of the space sim era, uh, late 90s. And this is actually the last game they made before the franchise died, together with the death of the joystick. Um, well. Without much further ado, the game explains itself a lot, so let's just start off and see where it goes. Oh, look at this animated menu. How many games do you get these days that have these gorgeous animated menus? I mean, the exit. The start of the mission. A tech room with um, all sorts of ships and weapons. The options. I mean... The barracks, the um, profile selector and everything. It's well thought out. Oh, wait. That's actually there. This is the campaign room. Um, we are running the Free Space, the Great Wall. A 14-year war between the Terrans and Vesudans, we'll get into that later, leads into something far more sinister. This is the story of the Great War in Free Space. So, let's go. Welcome to phase one of your basic training. Of course. Your instructor will walk you through multiple flight controls and HUD gauges. Training. In the first section, you will learn the basic HUD gauges. Okay. Your effectiveness at clearing multiple targets, cargo containers, will then be evaluated. Good luck, pilot. Thank you. Now, I need to check a few controls before I carry on. There is some music to this game, though. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Um, medium. Beefing voice is on, sensitivity is fine. Uh, should have done this before I started recording, but hey, it's too late now. Um, the pitch. 
I need to infer that one. Yeah, okay. That's good. So, yeah, let's go. Good morning, pilot. Don't touch the controls until told to do so. Mm, all right. The first function you will learn is targeting. Target me. In the lower left-hand corner of your HUD is your target view. The top line displays the targeted ship's name and class. Yes, sir. The next line shows the distance to your target and its speed. Distance to 19, speed 0. Okay, got it. Note the brackets around my ship in Look at it. I'm Look at the target. Look at the difference between the in-game footage and the actual unit card on the bottom left. The bottom left is the low resolution. As I fly out of view, the off-screen indicator will display. It points in the direction you must turn in order to face your target. It's the low poly model. And in-game we're watching the high resolution version. Note how it moves as I fly around. It is always pointing at your target. Mm -hmm. Of course, sir. Notice how the triangles separate. The farther apart they are, the farther you'll have to turn to face your target. Also noted. <clears throat> Finally, note the number by the indicator. This is the distance to your target. And he's gonna fly back into view any second now. The circular gauge near the bottom of your HUD is the radar. Friendly ships are shown in green. Hostile ships appear as red. Oh, not, maybe. No, no. He stopped. Using your main flight controller, turn your ship toward mine. Stop when my ship is in your center reticle. Uh, my main flight controller is my mouse. Good. Now stay in that position. Okay. Notice the difference? It's gorgeous in game. I love it. Now turn toward my ship again. Alright. Match my speed. Press M. Good, now follow me. Note how your speed automatically changes to match mine. Mm hmm. To the left of the reticle is the speed gauge. The capital M next to the current speed indicates that you are matching speed with your target. I want you to use your acceleration key to move to within 75 units of me. I Do already not am. Collide with my ship. Good. Now decelerate to drop 200 units behind me. Good. Now the afterburner. Engage your afterburner. The gauge to the left of your speed gauge indicates remaining afterburner power. Note that it is consumed rapidly. I love the afterburners. <laughs> All right. Stop flying around like that a madman. Speed is useful for quick evasive maneuvers. Maintain your max top speed. Try it now. Oh, it's over there. Now come to a complete stop. Look at that. Drone one has just warped in. Target it. Good. Now fly within 100 units of it, then come to a stop. Be careful not to fly too fast. Basic flight controls. Oh yeah, don't fly too fast. Well done. Note that it takes some time to come to a complete stop. Mm -hmm. A group of cargo containers has just warped in. Target CTAC 01A. Good. Now inspect these cargo containers. Inspecting, huh? Oh yeah. The bottom left says cargo unknown. In order to determine the contents of a ship or cargo container, you must target it, face it, and fly within 150 units. Scrap the sound you heard indicates the cargo container has been inspected. Notice the cargo display in the target box at your lower left. Come on, can I shoot it? 
Now fire your primary weapon. Near the center of your HUD, the hull integrity of your target is displayed. Notice that it has dropped from 100%. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This information is also available in the upper right. Look at the lighting. Display. The original game didn't have that. Now destroy C Tag 01A. Good. Now destroy C Tag 02B and C Tag 03A. Remember to target them. Bye. Oh, look at that. Let's see how quickly you can destroy these new cargo containers. Target them and destroy them with your ML-16. Key cargo containers. Die. Well, the scrap metal in them. Last one. Good job. Now it's time to leave. All right. Warping out is Alt J. Congratulations on your successful completion of Phase 1. You are now ready for Phase 2 of your training. Thank you. No recommendations. Um, I'm going to do all the training missions in one sitting, so let's go to the next one. Welcome to Phase 2 of your basic training. GTF Apollo. A cargo container will be delivered to the training area. You will be expected to demonstrate the targeting and firing skills that you acquired in phase Ooh, one of your training. Skills. <laughs> After reviewing phase one of your training, you will learn advanced targeting and firing mm, techniques. Okay, let's go. Welcome to phase two of your training. Thank you. That's a new ship. The First, to target the cargo container. Cycle Sight. through all objects in the area until the cargo. Good job. Sorry for interrupting you, instructor. Destroy the cargo container with your ML16. Oh yeah, with my expert skills. Nice shooting. Thanks, boss. Switch your primary weapon from the ML-16 to the Disruptor. Good. The Disruptor is an energy weapon that destroys the subsystems of a target, doing only minimal damage to the target's hull. Yeah, you can go in dual fire mode as well. Two practice drones will be used for this phase of the training. Two. Ooh. Hi. Target drone A. Good. Now target my ship, pilot. All right. You have a targeting control which allows you to target the nearest hostile target. If pressed again quickly, it will target the next nearest hostile object. Oh, I didn't know what he said there, but I was just... You can also target ship subsystems. By pressing the subsystem targeting control repeatedly, you can cycle through the subsystems of your target. It's just S, right? That's yeah, S. Look at the bottom left. Engine, comm, weapons, when sensors. When a subsystem is targeted, it is outlined by a large square. 
If the targeted object is not in view, it will be marked by a diamond. Ah, uh, cross, actually. Sure. Sensors. Nice work. Oh, I was about. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. I was about to. You will use the disruptor to destroy the subsystems of an enemy ship when you do not wish to destroy the ship. Destroy the sensors on drone A using the disruptor. Good. Thank you. Now it doesn't have any sensors anymore. Target the sensors on drone B. Notice the sensors on drone B are not in your direct line of sight, even though you have it targeted. The diamond indicates where the subsystem is located. It is also indicated in the HUD target monitor. It's the outside view. When ordered, you will fire your secondary weapon at Drone B. Okay. It's below the disruptor, it's the MX-50. The MX-50 is a heat-seeking missile. Thank you. When you are ordered to fire upon Drone B, the MX-50 will home in on your target. Destroy Drone B using the MX-50. That's pretty fast. Ah, oh, one more. Let's not waste any missiles now. Fine job, pilot. Kaboom! Now destroy the weapon subsystems on drone A. Yeah. Do it without destroying the drone. Boring. But okay. Oh. Whee! The outside view is nice. But it's very impractical while actually fighting, but it's nice. There we go. You have proven successful. Good job. Thank you. That is all for today's training. I'm going to destroy Drone A. Feel free to join me, pilot. Drive and head back to base. Oh, look at those effects. It's completely unrealistic in space, but still nice to see. Ah, I think we got three training missions, so one more. We're almost there. Then we'll have our wings. You were proficient in meeting the requirements for all of your training objectives. Thank you. As a result, you are qualified to advance to phase three of basic training. Congratulations. No recommendations. Welcome to the final phase of basic training. In this phase, your dogfight ability will be put to the test. You will be required to engage multiple waves of fighter drones. Some will be armed. You are expected to destroy as many of them as possible. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Welcome to phase three of your training. This phase will cover dogfighting techniques. Look at the bottom right. Auto target, auto speed. First, target my ship. I'm gonna use those extensively. Oh, we gotta recap now. Great. This is gonna take a while. You'll notice as I move, a circular indicator moves in front of my ship. That uh -huh. is the lead indicator. It uh -huh. indicates where you need to fire your primary weapon to hit your target. Oh yeah. Cool. Target the unarmed drone that has just arrived. The target box in the lower left hand corner of the HUD displays the distance to and hull integrity of your target. Your target's hull strength is also shown in the lower part of your reticle. As I shoot the drone, notice its hull integrity drops slowly.
A good dogfighting tactic is matching speeds with your target. I want you to match speeds with the... You should be on the move at all times during a dogfight. Now destroy the drone. Alright. Auto targets, auto match speeds. Let's go. Don't forget you also have missiles. I know. Of course it's back for this Two new unarmed drones have arrived. Destroy both of them. Remember to match their speed. An easy way to target is possible. Good job. There you are. This drone is armed. It will start firing upon you in as little as 10 seconds. Destroy it. Boom! Now comes the fun part. Five pairs of armed drones will jump in. Destroy as many as you can. Oh, of course, just back on. That one's first done. One. Two. Three. Or ouch! You scrape me. Look at the bottom. Uh, look, look at the top. Damage. I have damage. Five percent already, just for a little scrape. What are these planes made of? Ouch! Ninety-three percent. That's not good. Ooh. Actually firing. All right. Single fire mode and double fire mode. Great job, pilot. Basic training is complete. Return to base. All right. Yeah! You destroyed all 10 drones. Congratulations. This completes your basic training. Welcome to the GTA League of Defense. Uh, Galactic Terran Alliance, GTA. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I didn't accidentally hit my record button during any of this play. And I'll see you next time for the first proper mission. Bye.